No, let go of me. I hate you. I hate you. I hate your face. I hate everything you stand for. Sand? That's, uh, interesting. These things aren't being affected, so either I have to charge shot them, or... I'm not gonna bother. Oh, no. So, that's, I imagine, one of the buddy Chozos <clears throat> turned into sand. I don't like sand. Oh, that was a one-way door, apparently. This is, uh, I can't move on. Ah! Ah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I'm not going to be able to freeze that one in place. Oh my god, It's just, it just straight up murdered me. Sweet Jeebus. Oh, wait a minute, is this like the baby Metroid? Like the, the one that she was looking for the whole time? <sighs> Leaving me with uh, one HP is a... Nice of them to do. Beast. Ooh, yes, thank you. Oh, is this the way to the final battle? Well, if that's the case... No, I feel like I'm gonna go for it. I was thinking about possibly just stopping here, but... I don't see why, really. This feels final battley. I, uh. Oh. I want a mulligan on that room. How exactly do I proceed? Ow. I wish these stupid rings would, uh, drop something for me. Can I missile those jerks? No. I can break this thing, though. Will a super missile do better?
Alright, well. Yes, let me through. Wow, just getting nickel and dimed with all of all of the damage here. Maybe if I was a little more careful, I wouldn't be wasting so many missiles, but yeah. I don't know if I care. Oh, there's some other brain. I am right at the end, huh? Did you charge the tax up? No. Okay, being right up on it doesn't help. Huh. Can I only hurt it with missiles? It doesn't look like I'm doing anything to it. This is even before it stands up and gets all Godzilla on me, too. It's the worst part. Okay, well, that was uneventful. Alright, there should be more than enough missiles left over to uh, break their stupid glass jar. Shoot you like this, jeez. Alright, I was just making sure that that wasn't something I had to break, too. Alright. 
Come on, Godzilla. <coughs> Ow. Yikes. Interesting song it's playing. Oh my god, that thing hits really hard. Ow, 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 ow. I think I'm dead. I just died. Ouch, Jesus. Alright, I have to just make sure I don't get caught on the rainbow eyes there, and I'll be alright. Nice of her to give me a couple free shots there. God knows I'm gonna need them. So the thing ripples eventually across the whole ground. Ow. Got me with like a double whammy there. Whoops. Ow. Okay, that's the one that really hurts. How do I get out of... How do I get out of dodge when she tries to attack me there? Oh, man. I can't even move. Jesus! Wait, I don't believe I shot all of my missiles. What happened? Oh. Oh, hey. So wait, I would have been able to live if I had just had enough health last time? That's funny. Yeah, get a Metroid. Do you feel your soul leaving your body yet, Mother Brain? Thanks for that, you're a peach. Wait, uh oh, there's still signs of life over there. <laughs> hey, watch out! <laughs> um, please look. Or don't. Feels bad, man. Spent the whole game looking for it, and it dies. <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, not before I got a new super juiced rainbow laser. Take Mother Brain down with the Skittles beam. 
I imagine that would have been pretty, uh, especially for as early in, like, the life of video games as that is, I imagine that would have been pretty, uh, emotional for a lot of people if they didn't know about it. I already knew that that happened. I had had the scene, I don't know, spoiled by the internet, basically. It's one of those, but it's still a well-constructed scene. All hope is lost, and then a nice little save from your buddy, and then they die. And then a cathartic beatdown. Time bomb said, escape immediately. What's through here? Ooh, suck it. So, going further down probably isn't the best idea, but I might as well. Or might as well. I didn't, like, pronounce that correctly. So are these explosions just for show, or will I, like, take damage if I get caught up in one? Or if I get stuck in the mi- wait, why, don't, why am I, like, yielding for the walls here? I can just shoot, like, everything to smithereens. Alright. I don't actually know the way out, so um, I'm worried I might not make this timer. I tend to think going up is the way to go. Death lava. Oh, that's a lot of death lava. Only got a minute and a half left. Alright, let me out of here. This is the room from before. Alright. And this came long before Capcom was, like, putting these kind of self-destruct sequences and... Well, I guess Mega Man probably did it too, but... I was gonna say Resident Evil or Devil May Cry. Oh man, it's gonna be a nail-biter. <clears throat> it's just out here, you can do it, Samus. Oh, I jumped over it! Yes! Escaped. Done. Do -do -do -do. You know, for being made in, like, 1994, that's a pretty darn good-looking explosion. The operation was completed. Successfully. Clear time, 7 hours and 56 minutes. Super Metroid Staff. Alright, so that was my first Metroid game, as I said at the beginning. I ended up picking this up and putting it down a lot because... You know, I started playing it before I left Ohio, and 
I've been in Texas for months and all of that. I didn't, I even, like, while I was recording since coming to Texas, I've been, like, not uploading them until I got to the end or until I went back home. But overall, even though, you know, some things were, it was kind of not easy to remember what I was doing all the time. I probably shouldn't, don't play one of these games and pick them up and put them down so much. Play it more closer together so that you know what you're doing. But I think this was great. I'm definitely interested to, I knew I was eventually going to play a Metroid game. It was only a matter of time. I think this is a good one to start with. I uh, probably play the first game on the NES thing for the Switch, and then uh, I don't know. As far as one I would play next for the uh, channel here, maybe Fusion. Fusion's another one I hear good things about. The atmosphere in these games was just, or not these games. I should say this one specifically. It's the only one I played. The atmosphere in this game was off the charts. It could have been a horror game if it wanted to. The way it just... <sighs> yeah. The way that they curated things with the sound and all of that. Like, if it wanted to lean into being way scarier, it could have. I think I said the same thing about Bioshock, too. When I played that. Yeah. Good stuff all around. Uh, it's kind of funny. I think I had a harder time with... Uh, yeah, I had a harder time with Ridley than I did Mother Brain uh, after I actually... Like, after I triggered the Godzilla part of the Mother Brain boss fight. The, uh, the stupid prelude hallway there wasn't my favorite thing, but what do we got? Produced by Deer Force of Team... Yeah, all right. <laughs> Only good enough to get a thumbs up and a smile doesn't even take off the helmet. Or maybe that's how it's designed. Maybe I'm thinking of just the first game. Oh. Your rate for collecting items is 61%. It's not too bad for... I got more than half of them. It's not too shabby. I wasn't really going for a 100% run there. I was just doing it. God knows I got lost enough times anyway. Is that all you got? Does it stay on the screen forever? Well, it seems about as good of a place to end it as any. Thank you for allowing me to share this experience with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked this game. And until next time, follow me to Apex.